Hi guys, my name is Chirayu Bhatt and we are going to start our economics lectures from today and we are going to study fiscal policy today. Basically, a central government of a nation and central bank of a nation, they resort to two policies in order to fix the economy and to keep the economy on track. One is fiscal policy and the other one is monetary policy. We are going to see fiscal policy today. As far as fiscal policy is concerned, there are two kinds of fiscal policies, expansionary fiscal policy and contractionary fiscal policy. To know the difference and to know both, uh, both the policies, first of all, we need to understand what fiscal policy is. So what is fiscal policy? Fiscal policy refers to government spending and taxation. If you remember, if you have read somewhere, there was a great depression in USA in 1930. People were jobless, there was depression all around, people did not have money into their wallets. The economy was in deep trouble at that time. So President Roosevelt uh, resorted to the massive government spending at that time to put the economy back on track. Uh, they increased the government spending and this is how they got control of the economy once um, again. So this is what fiscal policy is. Fiscal policy refers to government spending, how government is going to spend in the uh, in the year that is coming, that 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 is part of the fiscal policy. So when when it comes to expansionary fiscal policy, let's try to understand what expansionary fiscal policy is. In expansionary fiscal policy, when government would see that the economy is going through recession. Remember, an economy of the nation can either be in recession, it can either be in inflation, or it can either be in full employment. There can be three scenarios that an economy can be into. It can be either inflation, recession, or full employment. So when government would see that the economy is going through recession, that means there is people are not spending enough money in the market, there is no jobs, I mean, there are lesser jobs and stuff like that. Then they will uh, use this tool, expansionary fiscal policy, to boost the economy, to boost the GDP, to boost the revenue and stuff like that. So let's try to understand what fiscal expansionary fiscal policy is from this um, uh, diagram. See, in the expansionary fiscal policy, government would increase their spending. They would start building roads, schools, dams, and colleges in order to increase the government spending. And they will reduce the, the income tax. They will, they, there will be reduction in the taxes. Why there will be reduction in the taxes? Because government uh, want consumers to end up with more disposable income. If there will be more disposable income, there will be more spending in the market. There will be more demands for the goods and services in the market. That will ultimately raise the GDP of an economy. So in the expansionary fiscal policy, government spending would increase or tax would go down. This is the two tools that would happen in expansionary fiscal policy. Right. So this is our ADSL curve, uh, aggregate supply and aggregate demand. This is our real GDP. So see, this is the original price level and this is the original GDP. And this is the full employment scenario. That can be the scenario that can be achieved if you, if you get your fiscal policy sorted. So this is the aggregate demand curve originally. And this is the aggregate supply curve. So what government would do, they would increase the government spending and they would reduce the tax. So that would increase the aggregate demand. That would shift our aggregate demand curve to its right. Since the aggregate demand curve would shift to its right, the original Y1 would also shift to Y2. This is our new GDP now. This is our new Y2 now. And since the GDP would increase, the price level would also go up. So there will be a little bit inflation in the economy. But see, in economics, you never get on spot. Uh, if you refer to fiscal policy or uh, expansionary fiscal policy or contractionary fiscal policy, you will always end up either further than your desired destination or be it uh, far from your desired destination. You will never end up on 100% on uh, spot on. You will never get 100% spot on. So government wants to reach here as far as economy is concerned, where the full employment destination is. But since in most of the cases, this is what happens, they will end up some, somewhere around here. So that will eventually increase 
the GDP and price level. This is how they will deal with an economy which is going through recession. Now, let's get back to here. This is the scenario of um, inflation. Inflation, you know the definition of inflation. Too much money chasing too few goods. Uh, the price level of goods and services are constantly rising. This is what inflation is. So, in inflation, what government wants to do, they want to bring back the price level with, uh, uh, which is going high, which is already higher in the economy. So, let's try to understand contractionary fiscal policy from this graph here. Remember, in expansionary fiscal policy, government increased their spending or reduced the tax. In the contractionary fiscal policy, exactly the opposite thing will happen. Government will either reduce uh, their uh, spending or uh, they will increase the tax uh, or they will do both of them. So what will happen once they will reduce their government spending, aggregate demand will shift to its left reducing the GDP of the economy or when they will increase the tax what will happen consumers or citizens will be left with uh, lesser disposable income disposable income is gross income minus tax that's your disposable income so when they will government will raise the tax you will have lesser amount of money into your wallet to go to the market and spend so this is what government wants they want to control the spending of the in the market so they will increase the tax now, what these two tools will do, they will shift your aggregate demand curve to its left. So see, this is your original, original AD curve, this is your ASL curve, and this is the uh, original price, price level, and this is your original GDP. Now, government wants to go to here. This is where they want to go. This is your uh, YF. This is where they want to be. But, as you know, we never get 100% spot on. So, since they resorted to these two measures, the economy, instead of landing up here, it landed up here. So, your GDP has decreased substantially and the decreased uh, GDP uh, has uh, fallen back your price level as well. This was your contractionary fiscal policy. Thanks for watching the video. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. You can also follow me on Facebook. Thank you. Bye.